Games are getting delayed all the time these days. Portal 2, Little Big Planet 2, Max Payne 3. Ah, oh, it's frustrating to think some of those big titles that you want so much keep getting further and further away. So after six long years, we finally get the release of one of gaming's biggest franchises in its fifth entry, and it is, of course, Gran Turismo 5. Whew, it's about bloody time. Here it is. Gran Turismo 5. It took forever to hit our stores, a whole six years in fact. In that time, other great races such as Forza Motorsport and F1 Championship have arisen to take its place as the number one driving simulator. So has all the hard work Polyphony have put into this fifth instalment of one of the greatest gaming franchises paid off? Well, yes, we delve in. This game is very smart and its menus and visuals give it a very sophisticated feel. Polyphony knows their stuff and they've introduced over a thousand cars with 26 different locations and 71 different tracks. Driving is at the core of this game and it pulls it off brilliantly, so it's a shame to see that there are many little bumps in this. First of all, you'll want to store it on your hard drive, a whole 8 gig which takes ages as you'll put up with many long loading times. The menu works well enough but it's not as smooth as it constantly drags along as you change through different options. Nothing terrible though and you're still given all the racing options you need, it just seems like there are many aspects of GD5 like the course maker that seem half done and it mostly seems like only a little step up from Gran Turismo 4. How do you make a game that already has photorealistic graphics look better? Put it in HD. Everything from lighting, replays to the extreme detail on the cars looks amazing. Reflections and the tracks themselves will have you drooling in front of your TV. Nighttime driving is back and most of all your favourite courses are back here looking better than ever. Though damage is still pretty non-existent. I know they said they included it but it's hardly noticeable. And it detracts from the reality of the simulator when you smash right into a wall or into other races and nothing seems to happen. You will see people on the track, but largely, as beautiful as the courses look, they do have a lifeless quality to them. As renowned as this game is for brilliant visuals, it does leave some sections looking a little subpar. Keeping in line with the realism with these cars are all the sounds are authentic. Different terrains and skidding is delicious, and the weather effects and attributes to this game's fantastic look and play. Playing on this game's cool and sophisticated style are many fancy menu themes, but I was amazed to see the range of tracks that you could listen to. From dance to jazz to rock to classical, it's a real diverse um, range here. Everything here makes you feel like this game has some serious class to it. The racing in GT5 is a clear bullseye. The physics, the driving mechanics are simply enthralling. Braking, accelerating and cornering has never been such a pure driving pleasure. You'll level up after each race and some races won't be available till you have enough experience points or the right car. Winning races will give you prize money and a new car which you can choose to sell or tune up to absolutely dominate your opponents which is still as satisfying as ever. This version has also introduced kart racing as well as NASCAR and WRC events which has only expanded the driving experience here. It's a long game and as you start off racing minis, you'll soon be tuning up sports cars at your leisure. There's the A-spec racing events, which is pretty normal Gran Turismo style, and B-spec, where you manage a driver by telling them to slow down, speed up or overtake. Which must be for the hardcore driving enthusiasts, because I found it completely boring and unengaging. There's also an issue with the driving AI. It still seemingly doesn't even acknowledge you, as you can ram into them. They simply just keep driving the line. No wonder it's been called Zombie AI. The two player and arcade mode works well, and but it's a little disappointing with the online as it still needs some patches. Now I tried not to like this game for all its broken promises and only small improvements, but it's just too hard to stay mad at this game. It's brilliant. The gameplay and the great look is just an undying formula and it's safe to say that Gran Turismo 5 is the best driving simulator. No, the best racing game out there right now. Um, I'm absolutely loving playing this. I don't know what it is about it, but it's completely enthralling and it's a 9.35 out 
and a 10.01 from me.